I'm back in my zone now Cause I'm back in my zone now What's up guys? <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Today's a really good day because I'm about to go pick up a new motorcycle. We're taking the hog. We're about to ride Mandem to go pick it up. I'm stoked. Let's ride. Ah, dude, my butt hurts. My face is numb and my, my legs are cramping up. My nuts are so far up in my stomach, I'm getting a tummy ache. <laughs> It is so fucking cold. I need to get off this thing right now. <laughs> oh. I'm so glad that ride is over. Ah, dude, my face, I can't, it's it's hard to talk. My face is so numb. We're at Action Kawasaki right now. We're gonna go pick up the bike now. Maybe find a helmet so I don't have to drive home with a numb face. So this is it right here. That's what I'm gonna get. Okay, and right about the Where's your biggest, baddest bike you got? Oh, right here. All right, so I just got home with the bike, ran pretty good on the way back. This is it, check it out. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm uh, figuring out different places where I can mount the GoPro. And then uh, a little bit later on, we're gonna go for a little test drive. Everything on it is stock. But yeah, it's a 2016 KTM 390 Duke and it looks so freaking sick. Black and orange, so clean. I'm gonna start it up, show you what it sounds like. So I just hooked up some GoPro mounts. Uh, I got one on the handlebar, which is where it's at right now. And then I got the suction cup right here. So I'm gonna grab my helmet, take a little ride, see if we can get some cool shots. Woo, it's such a fun little bike. Imagine if I wore this around town every time I rode this. <laughs> oh, gotta buckle the helmet. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> it's hard. Look at Maverick. Yeah, can, that was that was an adrenaline rush. It took me a little bit to figure out how to do it, but holy cow, dude. That is like the funnest thing ever. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! I gotta get better at that. Okay, back in the studio. Speaking of the studio, while I'm in here, it is a complete disaster. Uh, a couple of different things that are changing too. It's a new year, so I'm redesigning the studio, or at least I'm trying to anyway. But I got the shelves behind me here. This is just kind of some random things on the shelf right now. Like this, this doesn't make any sense right now, but it will soon. I've had this weird small black desk for like years. This is what I actually started editing on. Like this used to be my desk in my room at my parents' house. Like I would sit at this desk with a laptop and edit on iMovie. Now we got the studio space. It's little, but it's space. 
So I've got my editing set up over here and I don't think this is gonna change much, maybe the desk eventually, but this is where I edit everything in this corner here. And then this is still the, uh, the charging area. I've got everything that needs to be charged is in this corner. What I'm thinking is I wanna get rid of this old desk because it's ugly and it has these scratch marks. Like you can see right there, th those scratch marks are from a mouse because I didn't have a mouse pad when I was editing on my desk or uh, on my laptop. So I would scratch the shit out of that and now it just looks, it looks ugly and I don't like it. So I gotta get rid of it and I'm actually, I want to get a couch for under these shelves so I can shoot up against this wall. That's the idea. And originally I was actually gonna get a different desk, like a wooden desk to go right here so I could sit at it and talk to the camera that way. But instead I'm thinking I like the couch idea a little bit better. I just thought of this today and I'm texting Rain about it and she agrees. She thinks a couch would look a lot better and look a lot cleaner. And I could even put like a rug to put, you know, make the sound a little bit better in here. I'm actually gonna put some sound panels up too. Things are coming along slowly but surely. I'm excited and I'm excited to get this mess of a shelf organized because like I said, there's just, there's just random stuff here. So I'm pretty pumped. I'm pumped about the studio. I'm pumped for the plans. Now it's just a matter of executing on the ideas. This is uh, this is a little better. I got the first row for books and old cameras, and then up here is my lenses, camera, drone, uh, the tripod thingy. I need coffee. All right, here we go. Looking good. Uh, see, it's too much. It's too much froth. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Well, that's terrible. So I was just scrolling through Instagram while I was having my coffee and I came across this new tripod coming out. It's called the Switch Pod and basically it's a tripod that is meant to replace one of these things. Anybody that vlogs on YouTube has one of these. Uh, I've had this for a long time and it's a huge pain in the ass. I actually despise this thing, but I always use it to vlog because it's like an extension to your arm. Everybody uses it for the same reason who vlogs, so it's good for that. But at the same time, when you you have to like unbend it for the tripod and put it up. It's a huge pain in the ass when you like are ready to pick up and vlog again. You gotta close it up and this and that. Apparently it's meant to replace that and it's a lot more sturdy. So let me just get a screen recording going on here on my phone so I can scroll through their Instagram. This is what it is right here. So it's a little tripod, camera goes on top and supposedly this holds up to like 120 pounds. Like they, on their campaign video, they're actually putting 25 pound weights on top of this thing. It's a sturdy piece of gear. It basically unfolds like that and comes back together. These legs are uh, magnetized, so when you flip it out like that and put it back together, it's held together by magnets, which is really cool. And it just looks so much better than this Gorillapod. I mean, look at this thing. It's exactly the same concept as the Gorillapod. I love how it's designed. It looks badass. The only problem is right now, it's a Kickstarter campaign. They launched this last night and they've already hit their goal. They're, they've already surpassed their goal on Kickstarter. So they it's 100% funded. The only downside is it looks like it's not gonna be shipping until August, so kind of a long way away, but I'm pumped for this. So I'm definitely going to Kickstarter right now and I'm gonna fund this thing because I want one. If you wanna get one yourself, I'll have the link for the Kickstarter down below. They don't know me, I don't know them. I'm just making this video because I like talking about new gear. I don't know, I just thought it was really cool and I actually hate this thing, so. When I saw this, I got really excited. So I'm going to be switching to the Switch Pod in August. <laughs> All right, so I just got back from Walmart. As you can tell, I got the couch. Check this thing out, dude. This thing is sick. It's pretty funny because I posted a picture of this set so far on Instagram and I got like seven DMs afterwards saying, oh, is that the casting couch? So now I'm gonna go to Target. I gotta pick up a rug and then a coffee table. And then this section behind me will be pretty much finished. And then eventually put a TV here and have this a gaming area as well. So like that way I'm able to like shoot the videos up against this wall and also have like a kind of a, a chill spot. Before we hit Target, we gotta go to Kay's and pick up her ring because it didn't fit, so we had to go get it sized. It's been like a week, so we gotta go pick that up first. All right, so we got the ring. Check it out. Look at that. It's probably not gonna focus. The GoPro's not, not that good close up, but fit good? Wow. 
I already have the bands for the ring, but I didn't think to get those sized along with that. So we're gonna have to come back eventually, but the one is good for now. Next stop, food, because this one had a pretty rough night the other night. There's a, there's been like a, a bug going around or something. She spent the entire night throwing up and my brother is throwing up today and my dad was throwing up the previous day. So I really hope I don't get whatever's going around. I hate throwing up. I've only thrown up like three times in my life and it's the worst. Anybody? <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna stop. Uh, you gotta love Florida drivers, man. They're the freaking greatest. All right, we're in Target, got the rug. Now we're gonna search for the coffee table. Got it. Found one. We're back home, we're putting the rug down. We're gonna set up the coffee table, although we have to, uh, we gotta build it. I, I hate building furniture, it's the worst. We're gonna set up a time lapse and then show you what it looks like when everything is done. Done. Only took like an hour. This little thing should not have taken that long. Ah. All right, I'm going to sleep. Not bad though, not bad at all. Now all I need is a TV for right there. And that concludes the studio setup. I do want to add lights to these shelves eventually, but I think that might be for a different day. I think I'm done. I'm done for right now. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and hit that little bell down below because that notifies you when I post because YouTube's in a strange place right now. It doesn't really notify people when creators are posting videos supposedly. So uh, make sure you hit the bell and I will see you guys in next week's video. We're going to Disney tomorrow. So next week's video is gonna be pretty sweet. All right, peace out guys. Please don't let me into my zone. I just need some time on my own. All these people trying to get a conversation. You can conversate to that tone. Uh, my God up on that throne, yeah. So I'm never alone, yeah. All these people trying to boss me in. I'm Mayweather, it's on, yeah.